subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and today in this video i am going to show you how you can install emulator in android studio in 2020 so the process is quite simple and easy but mostly don't people know about it especially for beginners so that's why i'm making this video anyways let's start the tutorial so here i have already opened a project on android studio if you haven't downloaded android studio yet you can download it from their website it's absolutely free so it does not cost any money anyways once i have made a simple project like this is the simplest project i haven't added anything else except this hello world which was pre-added by them anyways now if i want to run this program in your case here you can see in my case it's showing nexus as api 26 but in your case it would be showing uh, open avd manager so you're going to press on open avd manager and your list should be empty if you're making a if you're installing a fresh version of android studio anyways here on the bottom left it says create virtual device you're going to press on this button and here this will pop up now if you want your emulator to be a mobile phone then on the category on the left side you're going to select mobile or uh, phones it's if it is a tv app then you're going to go to tv watch os tablet automotive etc so i'm going to select the phone emulator for now and here you can select the phone so basically these different phones will have obviously different specification their different resolution and the main thing i see is their resolution and this size like this is a 5.5 inch mobile phone pixel xl and its resolution is this so for now i am just going to select this pixel 3a it's a 5.6 inch mobile phone you can select any of the mobile phone that you want to be run as an emulator for your app so here you have a lot of lists we got smaller ones to the largest ones anyways i am going to select pixel 3a here i am going to press on next so here you are going to download any one of these like if you want it to be oreo pi q or etc any of these so let me just download the oreo one for now i'm going to press on download you're going to accept the terms and conditions after reading them obviously and you're going to press on next so here this window should pop up so now it's going to start downloading the emulator from the android studios website so different emulators have different size like this one is around 734 mb some emulators are around 1.1 gb as well again it depends on the android operating system like if it's lollipop etc anyways so it's going to take some time depending on your internet connection speed so i'm going to just fast forward the video from here until the download is complete So it's almost about to complete. We got 96%, 97% of data downloaded for the emulator. 98. So you can install multiple emulators as well because having multiple emulators will allow you to check your app on different screen sizes and on different specifications of different phones so here i am just installing one emulator i have already installed like two three before before making this video so if you want to have multiple mobile emulators you can do so uh, so it's just unzipping the data for this particular emulator and then it will just install it so here you can see done and it has completely installed the emulator here you can see the emulator that we just installed so you can download the remaining emulators as well or you can simply go back and download any other phone emulator if you want to have multiple emulators which i suggest because having multiple emulators will allow you to better check your mobile application so yeah so i'm just going to go to next you can download different uh, operating versions of that as well but i'm just going to stick with oreo for now going to press on next so here you can give the device name but i set it to its default name you can check its position as well 
you are going to press on finish so here you can see now I uh, currently have three emulators on my Android studio I can have more simply by just clicking on create virtual device and redoing the process that I showed you anyways I'm going to close this window and first of all I'm going to select on which emulator I want to run it so let's just run on pixel 3a API 26 that we just downloaded first of all I'm going to build the app so that it checks for any kind of error if it finds any error it will not build it but if our code is error free then we can run it on the emulator but again on the final when you're going to release your app I highly recommend that you check this app on a physical device rather than an emulator anyways I'm going to press on this green play button where it says run app and now it should open the emulator and we should see here it is the emulator itself Google so this is the 5.6 inch emulator as we chosen on the emulator when we downloaded it so the emulator speed will vary on your actual PC speed if your PC is fast then the emulator and all the things will obviously run fast but if your PC is like an older variant then it may run slow as you can see currently mine is a core i7 with 8 GB of RAM and it's still taking some time to load it as you can see here we are, have our main screen and here is our app as you can see it's showing our app name and the hello world that we just wrote here so you can do different things with your emulator so here on the app you should see your app you're going to again click on it and see the app and you can change its icon as well if you want to as you can see so you're going to double press on the app to open on this particular emulator so yeah that's it in this way how you can install an emulator in android studio in 2020 so guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and stay safe